Good morning, my lovely Virgo. Welcome to your April reading. Even though this is for April, it is timeless. You can see this whenever. I'm just going to cleanse the deck. All right, I feel it was in need. Always take what resonates from these readings. Flip the rolls. Fl uh, flip the roll. Yeah, flip the rolls. <laughs> You can be male, you can be female. You can have Virgo wherever in your charts. We. Oui. So tapping into your energy, I do feel that there is a wild passion coming your way. Something unexpected that you will not see coming. You're being invited to actually dance with life. You know, go out there. There's so much magic happening for you within the next month. Or the next month ahead. But I have, there is this stillness with your energy right now. A longing, but a stillness. A longing and a stillness. My camera just started blinking with the battery, so I, <laughs> so I take that as a sign that you feel that your batteries are running dry and you need, you need something to happen in your life. You need something new. You need to go get out there. You want to see the world, you want to travel, you want to meet up with friends. I do feel for you there is a bridge of passion that's connecting one thing to another. It can be connected with truth, it can be connected with what you are creating or what you want to create, but you need to step out of the comfort zone. I did hear someone say, will you accept? So I wonder if someone is going to reach out to you with an offer. It can be a job, it can be a love offer, it can be a lot. Let's just jump into it. Bombad spirit, be at home. So maybe you are at home. Maybe that's what you're sick and tired of. Sick and tired of. Or it's because you need to be, you know, like, connect with your spirit. The unicorn gateway. I'm telling you, something is about to happen. But it's unexpected, I feel. Life direction. Hmm, interesting with the gateway. Be at home. Fate. Autonomy. Autonomy. Karma. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> the selenite keeps making noises, so I'm going to put it away. I actually do feel that at this moment you are realizing that the safe zone that you have been in has created something in you. Something like a package that you need for your travels. There might be something you have seen as a curse, as actually a blessing. It could simply be that you have been stuck at home because of the situation. It can be that you are unemployed. It can be that you haven't seen your friends for a long time. You haven't been able to go out there and do what's, you know, what's actually fun. But you have needed the time to be at home or to find yourself. I also feel that some of you guys have found the freedom to be yourself. You know, be the strange one. Color out of the line. Don't do the same thing as everybody else because then you get what everyone else gets. So if there is something cre creative, whatever it is for you, that you are like the way that you express yourself or the way that you want to express yourself, no matter what that means for you, that's actually you. You shouldn't judge that. No. And other people will not judge you for that. That is the current energy that you're working with. It's beautiful energy. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? That was horn, so that is definitely a message for uh, you. Be yourself without judgment. With that, let's see what we can get for you. 
whoa, okay. Seven of Pentacles. Oh, look at the victory coming your way. Hmm. Six of Wands. The Hierophant. Two of Swords, making a decision. I do feel it's something that's going to happen very unexpected. Wow. Three of Cups celebration. There is the end of something. And I feel that you are actually celebrating that end. If it's the end of, like, I have this picture of you, you know, just shaking your booty and just being yourself. Just, you know, no judgment anymore and you're celebrating that. Some of you guys might even do a ritual. You might even have done a ritual to actually celebrate yourself. The world reversed, the emperor reversed, two of cups. Maybe some of you guys let go of another person. It could be Aries, obviously, for some of you. Or someone who was just very controlling, very nasty. It could be yourself. Again, it can be the judgment. But I do feel that there has been something you have been letting go of. I'm just going to change the battery and then I'm going to be back. Welcome back. So I do feel that there has been slowness, there has been delays. And you might have felt that this, like, slowness has come up more and more the past days. I do also feel that for someone else, you might have been obsessed with someone and their relationship just turned sour. It turned into dust, I want to say. Like, there was no communication. So you might have been put on ice. It can also be if you are looking for a job and nothing happened. Whatever has been slowing down, if it's health, if it's whatever it is, or recovery of something, you are recovering. You are actually ready to step out there. And I feel that whatever you have been through has been a, a part of your evolving new you. But I do feel for someone, there has been a relationship that didn't move forward at all. And it made you not move forward. You might have been going through some kind of loss, loss of a person, a family member, a pet, a job. Mm. Delays mixed with loss. Yeah, but you're recovering. And I do see that your finances are going to recover. So you guys are going back to work or you're going back to work on a project. I just are treat you treat you with that. But the setbacks, the delays are over. They are over now because victory is coming, but it has been rough on you. It has. Whatever you are creating right now might actually be you stepping into the public eye, becoming a, a guide for other people. Whatever you have been going through, you can teach other people how to get out of the same thing, how to recover, how to find your inner strength. Which makes sense, you know, life direction. Whatever you have been going through has been a part of your life direction. So I do feel that you will have a lot of recognition, being recognized. You will have a lot of success. Other people will really help you take these steps now. There might be a Taurus now that we have Taurus, but it doesn't have to be in, you know, connected with a um, <laughs> yeah, with a Taurus or a zodiac sign. You're learning a lot of new things. You are teaching from whatever you are learning, reaching new milestones. That's pretty badass. And it is very unexpected for you. I feel that you're actually ready to step into this new portal of yours, to celebration. You're ready to let go of something. You're ready to close the old chapter, a heavy chapter. The sun is rising again, but you have been going through a lot. Maybe some of you guys even made it to meditation went into your your meditative realm and you did some kind of ritual or you did a ritual in real I do feel there's something about a ritual. 
you did something, you put the last thoughts down and you're standing up and you're making a decision. And your spirit guides and your angels are rewarding you with that. They are very proud of what you have achieved. We have one one here and one 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 here. You are definitely stepping into a portal. Also with the X, you are, you know, again, there's something you're marking with, this is not me anymore. I'm ready to move forward. There's a lot to celebrate, a lot. And there might be people who are jealous. But I don't think that you need to worry about that at all. Or you're not. But it might, the karma here might be something that is linked together with a person, something that needs to be cut down for you to actually achieve that. Some of you guys might work together with fairies. You might have fairies as spirit guides. Normally when the work card is reversed, it's because that you are ready but you are not seeing it yourself. You are blocking yourself. Because of self-doubt or because of another person putting doubt upon you. It could be because of abuse from the past. It could be because of lack of courage. It can also be a message that you don't need to be in a rush. Because your life direction is going to come as it comes, when it comes. I do feel you're going to meet someone soon. A lot of people, I feel. But someone special who's going to really guide you and help you. And I feel that you are actually releasing an old belief system. You're releasing the violence. I don't know why I want to say that, but for some of you guys there might have been violence in the past. For some reason, especially with this card, it just came true. Some of you guys are getting over high blood pressure. It might be something you have been, deal been dealing with, but because you're releasing what caused the blood, the high blood pressure, which is to get, which is linked together with something that happened in the past. You're actually releasing that, you know, you're healing yourself. It's very beautiful. You are stepping into a new, I want to say functional gateway. Yeah. Stepping into a new functional gateway. Let's take the last cards and see. So I will take three cards. Wow. Five of Wands, yeah. There has been fighting. Queen of Swords, you are really standing up for yourself. You're using that pain and you may get your clarity you know, now. You're so guided. <laughs> King of Wands. I wonder if it's a, a fire sign who's going to guide you. I do feel for some of you guys it's a fire sign. Could be a fire sign. It could also be a Scorpio for someone. <laughs> for others of you. Someone with water in their chart. Could be someone from another country. But you're really standing up for yourself. I wonder if someone tried to spin you into chaos. It wouldn't surprise me if uh, some of you guys, it's a person who actually tried to spin you into chaos. Sneak you into thinking that you were unworthy or that your dreams were not going to succeed. Obviously it could be the ego, it could be because you're looking at other people and you think that you're not worthy of what they create, but you're actually creating something for yourself. Even true that it's sometimes scary to put something out there that is never seen before. I do feel for some of you guys that's what you're doing. There is an element of surprise coming your way. And it will give you instant clarity. I do feel that is the message. Listen out for your fairies or your spirit guides because they are showing you the way. They are telling you that you are ready. They are telling you that there is passion waiting and not a person waiting. 
but the focus needs to be on this portal. If you are in need of a private reading, healing session or removal of locks or information down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment, let me know if it resonated. Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!